here working on presses. Um, uh, straddle press is one of the most uh, difficult skills. It takes a lot of strength and flexibility and it works your hip flexors, it works your core, it works, works your lats, it works your shoulders and kind of all in one move and it's really uh, just a skill that really demonstrates um, strength. So uh, I have my daughter here today, of course, because she's with me every day, since there is, you know, the, we're all family every day. Um, and she's going to show you, uh, you know, some of the things that we've worked on to get this skill. And so first we're going to demonstrate, if you want to scoot back forward and demonstrate your shallow press. Yep, we did it quicker. We'll do one from the front and one from the side. Go ahead. So first just try to lift and then to go through and do a handstand and hopefully back down. So we're going to try it from the side, just to get a side view. So you can see that as she's lifting up your legs, she's going to really pull up through her hip flexors and her shoulders and then find the handstand. So she's a little rusty. <laughs> We've been at the gym for a little while. Um, so to, be, to get this skill, go ahead, sit down. it's really important that when you're, lift, you're lifting up your body, and I like to spot in the front, I give a little bit of uh, support in my knees on their shoulders just so that their shoulders don't collapse forward. And then we pick up their legs so they're really tight against their, their body. That way they can get to a nice handstand. So if they can't make this shape where they're really flexible in their legs, she kind of stops right there, um, then it gets really hard because the more that you condense and collapse into that straddle tight shape, the easier it is to lift out your body. So. If she tries to do a press and her hips are way out here, you can kind of see that now her weight is going to be back in here and it's just going to be really hard to lift her body. So it's really important that you're more in this condensed straddle shape so that you can roll up to a nice little handstand, keeping your weight in your fingertips so that you can balance, kind of like using your fingertips like they're an extension of your toes, like leaning forward and keeping the floor with your toes. So then she leans back, rolls back down, and gets into that shape again, and tries to hold her handstand, or her straddle, sorry, straddle shape. So a lot of things that we can work on um, to get this skill, it's just a nice mastery of a gymnastics strength skill, sit and shrug, is making sure that we're really, no, arms up, stretch, that we're really flexible in this shape, so that, you know, maybe she can even pull up kind of through her legs in this shape. Um, and then uh, we can do another basic press, uh, do a seal press. It's kind of like a beginner press that you kind of take out some of the hip flexors and you're just kind of working more on the shoulders and the lats and the core. Is that you kind of, oh, let's do that one more time. Your feet together. And this is a seal press. You start in a seal shape and then you drag your toes, you try to get your shoulders over and then um, find your press shape. So that kind of breaks the skill down a little bit just to kind of take out the hip flexors. Or you can, um, let's just do the, uh, the handstand hold with your knees. Remember you kind of put, yeah, put your knees kind of on your elbows. And this is another, uh, just a strength skill that she's trying to pick up her knees and put them on her elbows, can you fit one knee at a time. And then just holding that shape. I mean, that's just, that's, I mean, if you want to try that at home adults, it's a really good exercise. Uh, it does. It just kind of encompasses a lot of different muscle groups at the same time. Um, so those are kind of the things that uh, that really help working on the press. Or uh, there's a standing press. Go ahead, do a standing press. Kind of just again takes out the hip flexor and just kind of focuses on the shoulders, you know. And then of course, again, if you're not flexible and you're trying to do a handstand and you're trying to flex, arch. You're trying to flex press from this shape you can see that this doesn't really keep her body in line so she's not really going to be able to to make that skill um well i hope that if you guys are interested in working on the press uh actually got one more thing is the is really focusing on the hip flexors so it does this a pike hold um this is something that we've been working on in some of our older girl zoom classes is lifting up and do a pike press and the tighter they can get their legs up on their body um or in a straddle, hold, straddle, straddle hold. And the tighter you can get your legs up here for, and get like really tight up here. And trying to get her knees up like really tight up in that street. And you can see it's just a lot of it's just a lot of strength. It takes a lot of core 
and um, something that most competitive gymnasts like, do you have your press? It's just a really big deal um, for almost all sports for the for gymnastics. So we thank you guys. We're glad that you're here watching, and I hope to see that everybody has their Flip Strong t-shirt. We can't wait to see you back in the gym. We miss you greatly. We miss your smiling faces, and um, we hope that you guys are all doing well. Thanks.